I'm over 3,000 kilometers from home, on the peak of a glacier. There's a storm coming in, and I'm on the trail of a monster. This place hits every single one of your senses with a sledgehammer. The noise, the natural power that's here is overwhelming. May, May, May. <laughs> The stench of urine hits the back of my nose and makes me want to be sick. They love everything with a strong smell. It's strong. It is strong. <laughs> I'm in Morocco on the edge of the Sahara Desert, about to take on one of the biggest challenges of my life. There is no other place on Earth as hot, dry and empty. And I've chosen to be here during the hottest season. What's well, amazing when you stop for a second, it's just how quiet it is here. But deathly quiet. A bit of wind every now and again, but otherwise, you're really quite alone. Introduce yourself to the spirits of the house. I'm Francesca. I wasn't expecting this at all. This feels very strange. It sounds like a voice, but I can't make out what it's saying. I'm a good daughter, is what she's saying there. Can I hear it again? Yeah, I get that reaction sometimes, too. Some of the ammunition is vicious. The tip of this bullet splinters into eight pieces, aimed to do the most damage possible to the internal organs. What's this? That's an R.I.P. Don't matter where it hits you at, you did. That's survival. That's survival, basic. New Orleans and the people have taken an absolute beating. But what really surprised me and what really stuck with me is that despite everything the city has gone through. The people, the spirit, the soul continues to fight on and continues to survive. <laughs> 